not only is there a much bigger mini LED version of the iPad, there's also what I would consider to be probably the most useful smallest 11 inch version of the brand new M1 iPad Pro. So what comes in the box and is it any good? Let's find out. You thought I was gonna slam it down, but I did that in yesterday's video. What's up everyone, I'm the Everyday Dad, and if I can figure it out, you can figure it out. So let's not skip around, let's not mess around, let's get right to this. I wasn't actually gonna make this video, I know I said I was, and then I was like, well, it's gonna be the exact same as the iPad Pro 12.9, but then so many of you asked me about the 11 inch, so that's why we're doing this, I'm telling you. I make the videos that you all ask for, so let me know in the comments what you wanna see out of these, and I will make the videos that you all want. Serious, serious face. Okay, here we go. Three two, one. I was ready that time. We didn't mess it up. We didn't mess it up. I was prepared for that to be slightly boring. All right. Now I am normally an 11 inch iPad person. I'm not the biggest fan in the world of the 12.9 and we're, we're going to probably find that out as we go forward. I have this for comparison. This is the 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro. Let me make sure I'm holding that up the right way. Uh, but we do have a few things that we're going to check out today with this. Um, things that I may not have gotten to with the other one, but are you ready? Here we go. Ooh, there we go. There we go. That looks more like what I'm used to. Oh, so good. Okay, in the box, I assume we're going to have the exact same things as we did on the bigger brother. All right, what do we got? What do we got? We've got the normal documentation, more stickers. So now I have four stickers. I got to figure out a place to start tagging these um, places. Maybe we should tag one like right here. Like right there how does that look you know what that actually doesn't look half bad I don't know if we're gonna keep that there let me know if you want to see this here for the whole time or not okay we've also got these mini instructions with the control center the face ID the tips I love knowing little quick ways to get the most out of my iPad we've got the same USB-C to USB-C charger and the same 20 watt power adapter it says 20 watt right there 20 W I assume the W stands for what? It is crack of dawn right now. I woke up, saw all of your comments about the iPad Pro, and that's why we're making this video. So please excuse any bags under my eyes. All right, iPad Pro 11. Yep, still disappointing even there. Man, I love the smaller iPads. If you like the bigger iPads, that's fine, but what I use the iPads for is more of like productivity, and this can replace just like a standard notebook in my backpack, and that's why I just, I really like these better. The design is still great, kind of the same thing we've seen uh, since 2018. They really, Apple really designed like the perfect device in 2018, and we've been getting kind of the same thing since then. Okay, everything, no major changes, nothing too crazy. Let's see the size difference. I mean, just like look at that thing. The 12.9 inch is huge. I know I kind of keep like poo-pooing on the 12.9 inch, and it's, like I said, it's got the better display. I'm really excited to try this out for content creation and content consumption. It's just, it's got an uphill struggle. It's got an uphill struggle to go for me, but we'll, we'll see though. Man, this just, these are really, when I was a kid and I thought of the future of like technology, the iPad Pro line is basically what I thought it was gonna be like. One straight up sheet of glass with like desktop level computing power in it. So let's go ahead and turn it on. Apple. Man, I haven't made the Sega joke in a while. If you're too young to remember, when you had a Sega Genesis and you played certain games beforehand, it would say Sega, like right as you ran in. Hello. Okay, I will skip all of this for you. We don't need to waste all of y'all's time setting this up since we already set up the iPad Pro 12.9 inch. If you would like to see the full setup of all of this stuff, you can check out that video um, there. Okay, so we got it set up. Uh, it looks, I mean, it looks great. I love iPads. I never ever, since 2018, since they did this redesign of the iPad Pro, I have loved it. It's been one of my favorite devices ever made. The thing is though, so the biggest difference between this iPad and the bigger one is this has this more standard traditional retina panel, whereas the iPad 12.9 has a mini LED super XDR, like their pro level line of displays, kind of display. So actually, let's get these two next to each other and see if we can really tell the difference. Because if we can't, what's the big point, right? They're both gonna have the same 120 hertz refresh rate with the ProMotion technology. I have them both set up at their brightest. So they're both at peak brightness. This should be able to go a little bit brighter. I can't really tell the difference 
here, but let's actually go to YouTube and see if we can find some actual HDR content to uh, to consume. Here we go, so Dolby Atmos Demo 4K HDR. So we'll do that video on both and we'll see what it looks like. So there is a little bit of a difference that I can tell here in this video. So you may not, I guarantee that you're not gonna be able to really see this through YouTube, but the 11 inch version, here can I, the 11 inch version, like in the background here, you can kind of see it's kind of like a purplish cast. It's supposed to be black and this background's a little purplish, whereas on the 12.9 inch, it's really black. And that's one of the big things about HDR, right, is the higher contrast ratio. So it should be a little more distinct. And okay, I can see a little bit of a difference, but is it that big of a difference? Are you gonna be able to tell the difference? We'll do more in-depth testing as we go forward. This was just kind of a quick check, but you can tell the difference, but is it gonna be worth that pretty significant extra price to get the bigger monitor? Well, you're not really gonna be able to tell the difference unless you have them both up at the same time. I don't know you, but when I watch movies, I don't have two devices up at the same time to tell which one's the better uh, option. So yes, that is technically better. Um, but let's run a couple other tests really quick. So this is last year's Magic Keyboard. And I seem to remember a lot of gnawing and gnashing on the internet that this iPad would not work on this keyboard. So does it? Let's find out. Okay, we're set in. Closes. Um, does it work? Okay, looks like it works perfectly well. So I don't know what all that complaining on the internet was about. Let's see if it... I didn't type yet, you're right, I have not yet typed. So note, new note, test. Testing the older Magic Keyboard with the newer 11 inch iPad Pro. I guess that's debunked, the myth busted. I don't see like, I know people were saying it's a little bit thicker so it wouldn't be able to work. I don't see, I mean there's no like gap, like it fits in there perfectly. There's no gap. It doesn't feel like it's bulging or disproportionately placed anywhere. It's still very securely on there. I love this Magic Keyboard. I've got the other one. Um, I guess maybe that's the next comparison we'll do is the older version and the newer version of the Magic Keyboard. I got it for the 12.9 inch. Yeah, it's still on there. I have no problems throwing this thing around. Keyboard problems debunk. If you did not see yesterday's video, let's do a quick check to show you um, how the external display support works on the new iPads. Now, I was really kind of hoping that Apple would have included a way for the screen to like extend, right? So you have options when you plug a MacBook into an external display to have the display like extend so it treats it like as another desktop space. The, you're gonna see here in a second, the new Macs do not do that. They still have the, uh, they mirror the image and then they crop again. So it's a four by three aspect ratio when most displays are 16 by nine. This is my camera recorder that we're gonna use to do this really quick check. If you hear a fan, it's not the iPad, it's the recorder here. So let's pop it in. And there you go. It's still the same aspect ratio crop um, that we are used to. Kind of disappointing. I do wish um, that they had added, you know, a way to extend. I get that the aspect ratio of the iPad itself may not support 16 by 9. That's fine. Just extend the display then. You don't have to do magic to make this 16 by 9. Okay, so those are all the quick checks I wanted to make on the iPad Pro 11. We will do a lot more involving this tablet coming up. But again, let me know in the comments, what would you like to see out of the 11 inch and the 12.9 inch M1 iPad Pro? I'm very excited. And if you like this video and you're curious about that bigger iPad, here's my video of its unboxing. You can check out by clicking right here. Click, 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 click. Thanks for watching.